Hello, welcome back again. This is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. We're looking again at the Moodle LMS, which we've been looking at for quite a few videos. In this one, I'd like to look at the dashboard. And the reason is a few people asked me, how do I go about modifying the dashboard so that I can you know, add things like this really cool layout like this. This is actually on the homepage, not the dashboard. But if we did want to add this to the dashboard instead, how do we go about doing that? And how do we go about rearranging some of the content or some of the modules or plugins that appear in Moodle on the dashboard. And then the third thing is how do we apply that to everybody else? Now, the way this works is if you're an administrator, you can actually go in and create the layout for the dashboard and then reset everyone's dashboard to be the same as that layout that you've just created. So if, if for example, I go to our dashboard and you can see, I'll turn editing off. You can see that our dashboard has required grading a timeline, a calendar and upcoming events all in that order. And then on the right hand side, we have our recently accessed items. If that's the dashboard layout that you want, you can then apply that to everyone else's dashboard. Now it clears their dashboard out as in takes any of their changes they've made to the dashboard away and forces them to have the new dashboard. But that comes to the second part of this is that you can modify your own dashboard to your liking and everyone can do that uh, provided the permissions are set to allow it, which they are by default you can go in and change your own dashboard for you personally. So I can go in, I'll show you how this works because we're going to use it later when we go and change the dashboard for all the other students. But turn editing on while we're on the dashboard and you'll see we have add a block. So if I'd like to add a block down this right hand side, I can choose add block. I can find one of the blocks over here, uh, something like completion progress as a nice block. There we go. That's showing me the completion for two of my courses. If I want to change the order of those, I can reorder them. So I can remove recently access to the top, completion progress at the bottom. I'll probably leave it the other way for now. I can do the same on the left hand side. So it requires grading or the timeline, or I can remove things from here. So I can reorder them by switching those around. Or let's say I decide I don't want something to be displayed on there. So I might not want the upcoming events to be there. I can select the little cog on the right. I can choose delete upcoming events block and say delete. And we're back to that layout. When I turn editing off, all that's done is change the layout just for me. Okay, so oh, that's right, I dropped the calendar over there. That's where it went. I've only changed the dashboard for me, not for everybody else. To change the dashboard for everybody else, I have to be a site admin or have the right permissions to do this. And the process is quite different. So to change the dashboard for everybody else and reset the dashboard to your new dashboard look, you need to be an administrator. So if you're not an administrator and you're never going to be not interested in this bit, you can finish up here and you now know how to modify your own dashboard. But if you are an administrator, or you want to send this to your administrator, just tell them to play from whatever time we're up to now on this video, and they can have a look at how to set the dashboard up for you and reset it so everyone else has the same dashboard. So let's go and look at that. Remember, I'm a site admin. I'm going straight down to appearance and default dashboard. So now that I'm on the default dashboard, it specifically says default dashboard. Notice that this dashboard is not the same as the one I just modified. It's a slightly different layout. We had the calendar over on the right. We had a new module over here. That's because that was my custom dashboard that I created just for me only, which is sort of clever. I turn editing on. I'm going to add in our block, put in our completion progress one over on the right. So that's all there. I'm going to take the calendar out completely. So I'll edit and delete the calendar block and say delete. Like that, I'm also going to add a new text block. And in the text block, I'm going to show you how to edit a text block. Now it's right down the bottom by default. So I'm just going to move it right up the top, up to here. We want it sitting up near the top and oops, it didn't go up. So let's try again, see if we can get it there. There we go. I'm going to configure this new block and I'm just going to say, welcome and some put some content in here. Now it doesn't have to be anything fantastic or you know that it could be just a, a message. So if I wanted to, you could jump in and add in here class equals alert alert dash info just like that and if we maybe center that to make a bowl there we go save changes what i want to happen on the dashboard is that this one here is invisible you see it's grayed out so that means it won't appear i have welcome for the dashboard then some content with some information then we have there what requires grading, which is our grading process only for teachers. That'll only appear for teachers, that one. Then their timeline and then their upcoming events. OK, so let's add a new block. And I'm just going to put in here recently access because the dashboard. It'd be nice for them to be able to find their recent courses really easily. And I'm just going to move that up. Or we can sit at the bottom. Don't want it up that high, do I? 
Uh, let's just move it back down. Probably under the welcome, then there's your recently accessed courses, then there's the grading timeline, upcoming events. I mean, that could be up here too. Move that one up, maybe. Move that up. Required grading. See, this one only appears for teachers. So required grading could still sit up the top because you do want them to know about their grading. But that sort of, that order is quite okay. There we go. So I've got that in there. That's the default dashboard. Now that's not my dashboard yet. That's the default dashboard. So if, if I turn editing off and then I choose reset dashboard for all users, it will now apply that to my dashboard. So at the moment I haven't hit reset. If I just go dashboard, you can see that's what my dashboard looks like. It's still different. Nothing's happened there. If I go back to the default dashboard, which looks like that, and I go reset dashboard for all users, it'll go and do that. So it's reset everyone's dashboard to that layout. If I now go to my dashboard, my dashboard now looks like exactly that. And that's how it works to update or to reset the dashboard for all users. So I hope that made a lot of sense. I hope that helped you out with understanding how the dashboard works and how you can put it together. One last thing which is really cool is you can, if you know what you're doing and you're an administrator, or you need to get your administrator to do it, you can restrict the access to the different components depending on the user's permissions as well. So teachers could get certain blocks in there, students get certain other ones. Uh, it's up to you. you. There's actually ways of doing that in this system. It's very, very clever. Hope that's been helpful to you. My name is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au and any questions, any comments, leave them down the bottom, like, subscribe, all of that. I'll catch you again very, very soon.